Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on Wednesday, January 11th. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Not sure why that's on the frontal lobe this morning, but it is. Um, let's see what's going on out here. Quiet day yesterday. Powell, we all waited for Powell, and he fucked us by saying nothing. Uh, yields went up. Uh, this is the hourlies. Yields went up to 64. Now are back down at 58. Um, currencies have been muted. Low vol, not much of a range. This one doesn't look right, dollar yen. Um, dollar yen should probably be lower considering dollar swiss is at 14 euro is at 46 cable is at 63 why is dollar yen at 33 it's a very very interesting question um we will probably be selling this we'll probably if this thing inches up towards 50 we'll probably give it a bit of a, a soft sell today dollar yen um especially if yields stay below 360 Elsewhere, let's just look around. Uh, not a ton going on here. Very, very small ranges. Dollar uh, Aussie went up to 25. Um, now it's kind of the second time up at 25. There's going to be some intraday stops for shorts up there, but nothing really. Nobody cares. This is also a sell for us. Um, if this thing gets between 50 and 80 dollar CAD, we're going to sell this. Um, that's interesting to us. Euro, is this going to break? Um, 107.61? Sure looks like it is. Uh, this, is this a break trade? Might be. Um, is there any news that's going to drive it? Uh, I don't think there is. It's all like little shitty news today, like, um, 10-year auction in Germany, Italian retail sales, that's the only Euro news today, nothing really going on, uh, but is this naturally going to at least take a peak above uh, 60? Probably, probably does that today at some point, so keep an eye on that. Um, again, if yields are below 360, you want to just pick up currency, uh, try and pick up cheap currency wherever you can. Euro sterling, <clears throat> absolutely nothing to do. We're no longer <clears throat> we're no longer jaded about our 8780s that worked but then didn't work. Um, there's just nothing to do here, middle of the range. Cable, is this thing going to cruise? Is this going to pop uh, through 122.20? Uh, no idea. Kiwi, we talked about this level yesterday, 64.20. Um, if we get a real hot stock market um kiwi's an interesting horse and i would argue that kiwi is a better horse than aussie aussie is is too crowded here's dollar yen look at these tiny fucking daily bars that's just shit that's just shit trading right normally we get 300 move 300 point moves a day in dollar yen um yesterday we got what you call pp moves right 30 pointers this way, left, right, center. I still think this is too high. Euro is now 51.2. Uh, this should be lower. Uh, this should be 131.80. So maybe selling dollar yen it makes a little bit of sense here. Dollar Swiss. This is our crowded dollar long. Has a hard time going higher. Witnessed as witnessed yesterday, it went higher, but then just couldn't sustain. Um, this is going to probe 91.50 eventually. Uh, we will look to pick up cheap ones, um, but again, every day, what's a cheap one? It changes, right? On a downtrend, it keeps getting lower and lower and lower. Even though it's a, kind of a dumbass thing, why aren't you just selling high ones, Ryan? Um, we're picking up cheap ones, but because between 93 and 90, dollar Swiss is notoriously cheap in the long term. 
which of course is why the whole market is balls deep long. Um, but we recognize that while the market has this trade on in such big size, it's going to have a hard time going up, which is why we wait for cheap ones. And then we trade it. We're not positioning it. Um, we just keep trading it for points. Um, is this thing going to go to 88 cents, 88 centimes? Maybe. <laughs> Probably. Because um, that's what FX does. Um, it, uh, it fucks people. Uh, and if I were to sum up FX in one sentence, this market will fuck you, is my summary for FX. And once you understand that, uh, it makes it a little bit easier to make money in FX, weirdly. Cross yen is slightly higher. Nobody cares. This is middle of the range. This also has nothing going on. Aussie yen, middle of the range. Swiss yen, as you can guess. Euro Swiss did not give us any gifts yesterday. Just stayed up top, right? Um, tiny muted ranges. This is 9303. What are you going to do with that? Um, you know, that's like uh, masturbatory fucking waste of time. And so on and so forth. I think dollar max is interesting. Kind of. But not really. Now it's a ways away. 1904. Dollar max is interesting. Check this. Sinaloa cartel is on its knees. You saw um, the sun. Uh, was arrested and there's all kinds of news flow about how the Sinaloa cartel this is from Joe Rogan uh, was actually helping reduce crime in America and, and uh, it's quite an interesting podcast I, I recommend it to all of you the um, the Joe Rogan sort of Mexican cartel chat which I think was two days ago anyway Check this, um, 1903.90, yesterday we traded 1904.88, today we traded 1904.17, which is very close to 1903.90. Below 1904, this thing, can, um, this thing can move, so what does that mean? That's basically weaker dollar, higher stocks, uh, lower dollar max. Do not trade this in Europe. It is not a European currency pair as you can as most of you can probably understand Mexico which is in North America um, doesn't get really good liquidity until 8 a.m. New York time or 8 a.m. Mexico City time. So but keep an eye on this 1904 that's an interesting interesting level. Uh, gold. We were trying to sell gold yesterday. We didn't get paid. Today we're going to try and sell it again. Um, but it's still it's 15 bucks away. So we're going to sell this between 95 and 98 today if it gets there on the on the stretchy stretchy um, maneuver. Crypto just chilling. Ethereum over 1300. Matic not doing anything. Um, Solana. This is a shocker, right? Why did Solana double? I understood why it was at eight bucks, but now uh, sixteen doubled this month. Um, God bless Solana. Anyway, NFTs um, are coming back into the fore, so this is what is creating a bid in some of these infrastructure blockchains. These are infrastructure blockchains. Ethereum, Matic, Solana, Phantom, um, Avex, Near. These are infrastructure blockchains. DYDX is um, a decentralized exchange blockchain. Just kind of ignore that for now. It's basically a Uniswap comp competitor. But these four or these five are, are all infrastructure blockchains that get paid um, for staking uh, and I think are interesting. Slightly bid. And then finally, um, Apple. Bought some Apple yesterday. Hasn't really done much um, adding to the position. 
we rebought Microsoft begrudgingly, uh, mainly because it looks like they're going to buy a portion of ChatGPT, um, which, as all of you know, is going to change the world. I'm shutting up now. Dollar Max is the most interesting chart. Dollar Yen is too high right now. Uh, it's trading at 21. Sell high ones in dollar yen, or even just sell here, right? Dollar yen's going to trade the figure or down to 130, 150 at some point today, I think. Um, anyway, not super enthusiastic about the market today. Um, maybe we'll just wait for Mexico City to come in and see what's going on in dollar max down at 04. Bye, 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 bye.